Hey YouTubers, I'm still here. I had a little mental breakdown, a little emotional breakdown, but I'm still here. And I always am. After an emotional breakdown, I still s seem to be resilient to stand there. Update number six <laughs> of this update. I also had piano lessons at night. And I learned where my F key is. And I'll probably have a little video of that later. I'm going to do that one independent of all this. Um, along with everything else that I was taking in and processing for the day, it just added to it. It's not Natalie's fault. It's just it was one more thing. And I feel a little overwhelmed. I'm going to tell you the truth. I feel like I have had so much information shoved at me in in one 24-hour period that I don't know how my brain can handle all of this and I'm having problems emotionally as a result. I'm not gonna lie to you I want to go and eat something. I don't know what I want to eat but I want to eat something. I go in my kitchen and I look and there's nothing in there that I want because when I go and look I'm scared of the carbs but I want something because I'm upset I'm upset at myself I'm upset I let myself down that I told myself I wasn't gonna do any carbs and I let a carb in I let it creep in and then I let another one in and another one in and then I went someplace and there were carbs and I wanted to try them and I ate a little bit a little bit became a spoonful and a spoonful became uh, a plate or a bowl and then um, the result of that was four extra pounds sugars that didn't drop down to their normal level and more medicine and the request to lose a pound that's what you get mails it <laughs> that's what you get I want to be on the other side of this already where the sugar levels are normal and I can at least enjoy eating again. Not to excess, not to any great numbers, not to over overstuffing or feeling miserable, but just enjoy eating again because I'm not enjoying it right now. It's not fun to cut the carbs out. I like the carbs. <sighs> But if I want to succeed, I can't do that. And I have to take ownership of the fact that I, I fell off the wagon. And I stumbled. But I'm getting right back up on there again because all I've had today was a protein shake and four eggs and some hot sauce on it. That's it. Not to mention I'm emotional because I did not sleep well the night before. I have, I have insomnia a lot because I have sciatica in my back so it hurts a lot of the time and I'm very uncomfortable at night when I'm sleeping it. My back kills me. And I don't do any pain medicine for it because I don't want to become addicted to that. But anyway, at midnight last night or this morning, it feels like last night, it all runs together. At midnight, my husband and my son and I had to go get my son's newest game. The pre-ordered game of Halo Reach. So here I am with all this information in my body, in my mind. I had a piano lesson and I didn't have any rest whatsoever at all for over 24 hours. And I'm, I'm at GameStop in the middle of the night picking up a game for my kid so that he can be happy. Because that's my motivation my son and myself and my husband and my little family sure visiting Ireland and meeting Bono in person or seeing the pyramids or 
having my painting on the walls and having people buy them, becoming a famous artist, living in a loft, traveling the world, winning $500 million, all that would be great. And for a moment I'd be happy. But I'm not going to be happy until I'm healthy and can see a future. I don't see that now. He asked me 10 years from now, where do I think I'll be? I think I'll be buried. That's not good. Do I hope to live longer? Sure. I think all of us would hope to live longer. There's so much to do out there in that world. So much to see, so much to take in, so much to learn, places to go, people to meet, things to do. And I'm just starting. And I'm going to succeed. And if you start and you stick with it, you can succeed too. It's not going to be an easy road. Anything worthwhile never is. But you can do this. And so can I. And we'll do it together. Good luck. All I have is wishes and hopes for the world to become a healthier place right now. And it all starts with me. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great day.